Pull my earplugs out here. All right, I'm totally disgusted. Right, totally disgusted right now. FNAR could not fire the tool ammo. I hope you can see the little dings in those primers. Two in a row, actually three in a row, and then this one coming out of the steel mag. See something wrong there? It got wedged like this coming out of the mag, the last round in the mag. Didn't even get a chance to fire it. We actually, oh, we actually had a problem firing this one. We're not sure what happened. We think, we think that possibly that little red button there, or the little button, little red dot on the back side of the charging handle, that indicates that the charging handle's all the way forward or not. We think it may have just been back like this, or slightly, because the, the guy who was just shot it didn't ram it home or didn't let it slide hard. He just kind of went slow. We can't verify that it was all the way seated into battery. So it didn't even strike the round. Took it out, took the mag out, loaded the one round into the mag, pulled it back to let it ratchet, and it gets wedged like this. You can see the tip of the bullet. Damn this stupid camera. You can see the tip of the bullet hit something. You can see that burr on the bullet now and ram the bullet into the case. I can see why FN slash Winchester stopped selling these. I will give this gun another round, maybe another 10 shells to prove itself. If it can't prove itself in these 10, it's already dropped itself like subpar. This thing's like, to me right now, I'd rather have a 30-30 Winchester right now, or like a 30-30 Marlin right now over this. And that's an unreliable gun. You can't fire brass case 308. The SIG 716 just did the tool ammo and the brass case and the tracers. We'll review this more.